nothing of him that doth fade, but doth suffer a sea change, into something rich and strange. The epitaph on the tomb of the English romantic poet Percy Bysshe Shelley. Shelley had a strange preoccupation with boats, swimming, and the sea, and was fascinated by water as a great element, and time and again prophesied his death by drowning. Shelley drowned when his small schooner, the Ariel, sank in the Gulf of Spezia. When his body washed ashore ten days later on the beach near Via Reggio, his face was so badly decomposed that it might not have been identified were it not, according to his friend and fellow author Edward Trelawney, for the volume of Sophocles in one pocket and Keats's poems in the other, doubled back, as if the reader in the act of reading had hastily thrust it away. It was the poet's spirit and not his body that Trelawney referred to when he added three lines of Ariel's song from Shelley's favorite play, Shakespeare's The Tempest, to his tomb.